Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through looping or iterative statements, guys. Guys, these statements are really easy, guys. This whole topic of this chapter is really easy. So basically, an iterative statement is a statement that executes a single or a group of statements a, specif a specified number of times, as if 0, 1 or more. So this is something like a loop, guys. It's going to execute it again and again until the requirement needs are to be done or specified. Fine? Okay, so in this tutorial, let us go through for loop, guys. This is one of the most easiest concept, for loop. So for statement executes for, for statement executes the for a specific number of times after each iteration or after each step, it is going to increment a particular number by one, guys. So syntax will be in this format for initialization, condition, updating, and integrally we will be having statements. So initialization, I will be just writing an example for i is equals to 0. Condition is nothing but i greater than or equal to 5. i plus plus, fine. And i wrote c out hi. Okay, I am writing this in c plus plus guys or c. Okay, it should be in c plus plus. I, wrote, I used c out, right? Okay, fine. So this hi message will be printed 6 times guys, including with 0 and 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6 times. So that high message will be coming 6 times. So that is how the syntax works guys. So how it flows is nothing but initially the initialization is done. Then the condition is checked. If it is false, it directly pops out of the whole loop. If it is true, the inner code will be executed and then the value is updated and again the condition is checked. This process continues like a loop. Right, so that's the reason why these these conditions are called as looping conditions. Okay, guys, so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in this tutorial, we'll be going through while loop. Thank you. Thanks for watching.